Getting out there, getting those last minute gifts and maybe getting to a uh, different place to celebrate the holiday so everybody's paying attention. Yeah, definitely so. And I got your travel forecast coming up here in just a little bit. And in the meantime, you know, the rain may have slowed you down a little bit this morning, but it is moving on out and we don't have to worry about it. Not only the rest of the day today, but the rest of the week either. You do have to worry about some pretty warm temperatures as we head closer to Christmas though. Love this shot from Cedar Hill. Let's step out of the way here. Look at that 43 degrees, a little bit of low level cloud cover, a little bit of mid to high level cloud cover and Cedar Hill only picked up five one hundredths of rain. It wasn't a ton of rain, but it did come out kind of moderate to heavily this morning in parts of DFW. Dow sitting at 43 degrees, peaks of sunshine. 0.07 your rain total there and that was kind of the totals all across DFW North Texas. If you did see that rain, it was less than a tenth of an inch for most of you. That widespread rain starting to move off to the east now. You can see maybe a little lingering shower activity parts of Kaufman County out toward Canton, maybe up toward Greenville as well, but I don't expect any sort of heavy rain or widespread rain the rest of the day today. There may be a few little showers that try and get going in parts of Collin County uh, as well, but most of you will be dry the rest of the day today, especially DFW to the west. In fact, if you're west of DFW, you're already seeing the sunshine. Look at Breckenridge already up in the 50s right now. Eastland at 52, 40s in Mineral Wells, and then those low 40s in the area still stuck in the cloud cover. I mean, 39 in Mineola and Paris only sitting at 40 degrees. It's chilly, but I do expect just rain across eastern North Texas. No, no wintry weather or anything like that. All right, there go the clouds as we head through the rest of the day. And there's what I was talking about. Just maybe a few little lingering sprinkles or showers, uh, mainly east, northeast of DFW. But clouds will clear out from west to east, so I think DFW will see some sun before the day is over, maybe from the afternoon hours. And then into the night time will start off fairly clear. But I wouldn't be surprised to maybe see a little fog develop late tonight and into tomorrow morning. Your highs. Very much going to depend on where you are and how much sunshine versus cloud cover you see the rest of the day today. 40s to low 50s to low 60s, about a 20 degree temperature range across North Texas, depending on if you see cloud cover and if you see sunshine. Obviously, the warmest places will be areas to the west where a good amount of sunshine is already ongoing. So your travel today, well, it's just kind of eastern areas that are dealing with that lingering rain. Tomorrow, no rain in the state at all, and tomorrow really starts that warming trend as we head through the rest of the week. We'll be in the 50s still here in north Texas, but areas across western Texas could be in the 70s tomorrow afternoon. you got 60s down near Houston, 70s almost statewide, with the exception of kind of north to east Texas. We'll actually kind of stay in the 60s as we head into uh, your Wednesday time frame. On Thursday, warming up even more, 70s and 80s across the state, and then your Christmas Christmas Eve actually looks to be the warmest day of the week with those highs in the upper 70s here in our area, 80s to the south. Austin hits 80, Houston hits 82, 83 on Corpus Christi for Christmas Eve, and then temperatures will be pretty similar for your Christmas Day, maybe a degree or two cooler as a weak front tries to kind of slide down into Texas on your Saturday for your actual Christmas. It's not going to bring us any rain or anything, but it may just cool our temperatures and temperatures up in the panhandle a little bit. But I mean, look at Abilene to San Angelo to San Antonio to Corpus on Christmas Day, 80 or above. By the way, the record warmest Christmas was 2016. Wasn't that long ago when we hit 80 degrees. So we'll be close to that on our actual Christmas. If you're worried about your high on Christmas Eve, we will not break that one because the record high for Christmas Eve is 88 degrees. I think that one is safe. That 40% right there, I mean, that's basically done. That's for eastern areas, DFW, you will be dry the rest of the day today. And then you see those 70s continuing after Christmas. There might be another front that tries to get in here sometime in the late uh, part of the 10 day forecast. But as of now, I don't have anything significant. Does look like it might be cooler as we head closer to New Year. We'll keep an eye on that for you as we get closer. Jason, back to you.